the wind. You do what you crave. Jump on the bike and then drive to the end of the world. Then drive with me, Laura. Even now. I'm telling you. I'm not in the mood. What's wrong? Well, it's just my dad. He doesn't let me stare a step from his side and then my mother is the same. God, I'm so tired of living with all of them. And now here comes this Katya. And who is Katya? Apparently she's my cousin. She saddled us with her poor orphan, so there comes my dad, who always solves her problems, not mine. Can you imagine that, Talik? Father is comparing me to my cousin! Oh my god! How much I wish to get away from them. Order me a tequila sunrise! <laughs> I want a beer instead of egg. You know perfectly well that I don't like beer. Order me a cocktail. Baby, sorry. But I can't afford your tequila run size, or how you call it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're a caveman. You can't even pay for a single cocktail, so I have to do everything by myself. Tequila sunrise! And a beer. Just one dark unfiltered. What are you thinking of? Your uncle Ivan is quite a nice man. He understands all of our problems and helps us. Don't you think so? Uncle Ivan really showed himself very well. But Asya, you have to be careful with his wife and his daughter. Asya, are you listening? Don't trust them, and avoid honesty. The main thing is Ivan Fedorovich is on our side. He is the one who runs the place and therefore is able to cope really well with both Laura and Victoria Leonidivna. Uncle Ivan is under his wife's control, manipulated by his daughter. Can't you see that, Asya? Now everything is perfectly okay. And I like it. You even have two admirers here, <laughs> and both of them are actually really cute. Both Serhi and Roman. Asya, you have read too much romantic novels about love. A lot. That's why you see admirers everywhere. And real life, darling, is very different. A romantic is someone who chooses Roman. And don't tell me you don't like him at all, Katya. Let's just sleep now. We have another hard day tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Get a grip, you hear? Just hang in there. Have you driven a car? It's late. Mm, don't worry. I brought her. Come here now. Hmm? How dare you come home so drunk? Oh, Daddy, just leave me alone, okay? You have got your right, so give lectures to your precious knees. I'm just... I am so sorry you're my father. You! You! <laughs> How dare you talk to me like that, Laura! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> I never want to see you again with my daughter, young man. The bag. I am leaving. Goodbye, Ivan Fedorovich. at me and doesn't like me at all. He clearly loves Katya more than me. <laughs> I wish we all could go to the funeral of Lilia Petrivna and say our last goodbye to her. Right, that's not a place for kids. They'll see plenty of this. Let Maxim go with you. I'll just stay here with the kids. Asya, do you want me to stay with the kids? No, you go. Besides, I'm going to visit school and enroll children. And I want to find out whether there are vacancies for us or not. This is a tiresome day. I don't know how I'm going to bear this up. Katya, hold on, I'm right here. <laughs> is breakfast coming soon, Katya? 
Max and I are hungry. Yes, my sunshine, okay? When Lucia wakes up, we'll eat already. <laughs> You scared me. Why are you here? Excuse me. I, I was just about to get some tea. In darkness? I didn't want to disturb anyone, but but I seem to have failed. I'm sorry. It's fine. I couldn't sleep anyway. So many things happened lately these days. I can't collect my thoughts. Mm -hmm. The superintendent in our dormitory was really a harsh woman. Mm. Seriously. She would always go and check the girls' rooms for guys every night that time. You want? Mm -mm. Once, on New Year's Eve, Lida invited her fiancé. We were sitting with champagne, waiting for the president to start his speech. And here... The superintendent came? Yes. We really startled that night. Lita pushed her fiancé inside a wardrobe. Then the door was closed. We let Ala and Adivna come in. She walked around the whole room, looked everywhere, and even looked under the beds. Can you imagine? Did she find guests? Mm -mm. She came closer to the wardrobe and started pulling the door. The lock was broken. Lita quickly grasped what she should do next. She began to complain that the wardrobe had been living out the last days. The superintendent muttered something and left and the lock had to break out. It jammed. We even thought the poor boy would suffocate inside, literally with no air or airspace. <laughs> I think I finally understand the phrase about the skeletons in the closet, huh? <laughs> what university did you graduate from? In Chevronitz National University, at the Faculty of Foreign Languages. My specialty is English. And now I'm learning German, a nice language. Katja, you're seeing the beauty in everything. Because most people find German dry and rough. Why is it dry? You just listen here, it goes like this. Sapphire sind die Augen dein, die lieblichen die Susan. O drei mil glücklich ist der Mann, den sie mit Liebe grüßen. You must be tired of me and my talk, excuse me. No, I actually feel pretty good with you. Uh, what are you doing here? At this time? Drinking? <laughs>